Halitosis, also known as chronic bad breath. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joyce, and today I wanna to talk about a really sensitive topic that a lot of people are afraid to bring up at their dental appointments, bad breath. Look, everyone gets bad breath at one point or another, but some of us may struggle with severe bad breath, making it really embarrassing to get too close to other people. We might even be too self-conscious to ask our dentists for help. Before we go any further, I need you to know two things. One, your dentist is one of the best people to help you manage bad breath, period. Two, everything you and your dentist talk about is confidential. They're not gonna go around and blab and blab about your bad breath after you have that conversation. But if you don't bring it up, they'll probably be the one who is uncomfortable and have to present the issue during your exam. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the biggest factors that cause bad breath and what you can do about them. Here are the top six reasons and we'll count down to number one. Number six is dry mouth. When the natural moisture levels of your mouth are thrown off, it can also cause your breath to change. When there's a lack of saliva, bacteria can build up more quickly because nothing is flushing it away during the day. And some bacteria can develop and reproduce even faster because of the dry environment in your mouth. A lot of things today can contribute to dry mouth, which we also can call xerostomia. Over-the-counter and prescription drugs are just a couple of examples. Alcohol-containing mouth rinses and alcohol alcoholic drinks are a couple of others. So try to cut out alcohol and sip on water throughout the day. Chewing gum with xylitol can also help stimulate saliva production and protect your teeth. Number five, active cavities. Infections inside of your mouth can cause a bad odor. In this case, it could be active tooth decay or even a severe abscess because of untreated cavities. Because cavities are bacterial infections, you can count on them to be full of germs. Keep in mind, the bacteria are down inside of your teeth, so it's not like you can just brush them all away. For some people, cavities can lead to bad smells or tastes in your mouth, especially if the tooth becomes abscessed and the infection is draining out of the root. Bottom line, if you have a cavity, don't put your treatment off. It's best to get decay treated early while it's small. Number four, a dirty tongue. Did you know about 90% of odor causing bacteria can be found on the tongue? Our tongues are covered in hundreds, if not thousands of tiny finger-like projections called papilla. Food debris and plaque can easily build up around the papilla during meals. If you have never used a tongue scraper, get one. It will literally blow your mind when you see what comes off of your tongue when you use it. I recommend using a tongue scraper at least once, if not twice a day. Reason number three is the food that you ate. This one is easy. If you eat odor-causing foods like eggs, garlic, fish, Brussels sprouts, or even dairy, it can cause some of that smell to hang around afterwards. You can typically figure this one out with a little trial and error. Keep a food log and jot down what you eat, when you eat it, and when you notice yourself having bad breath in your mouth or odor coming from it. Reason number two is a sinus infection or other illnesses. Sinus drainage and post-nasal drips in the back of your throat can cause some really gross odors, but ongoing bad breath can also be tied to things like gastrointestinal disorders and even cancer in some rare cases. If your mouth is completely healthy and you have no idea why you're struggling with bad breath, talk to your medical provider. It's better to be safe than sorry. Last but not least, the number one cause of bad breath is periodontal disease. Almost every patient I see who has bad breath usually has a gum infection. This odor isn't something you can rinse away or floss until it heals up. And you can't cover it up with mints, gums, or mouth rinse. In fact, it may make your bad breath even worse. This type of halitosis is caused by dying necrotic tissues down underneath your gums around the roots of your teeth. The absolute only way to treat bad breath from gum disease is to see your dentist for periodontal therapy, usually in the form of a deep cleaning. Your dentist or hygienist will clean out the dying odor-causing bacteria under your gums so that you can have a clean slate to get things back on track. Symptoms of gum disease usually include gums that bleed, visible gaps between your teeth, receding gum lines, tartar buildup, and you guessed it, bad breath. If you haven't seen your dentist in at least six months, or you've been told that you have gum disease, make it a point to schedule a checkup ASAP. Not only will your smile thank you, your friends and family will notice an improvement as well. Smile smarter. All right, my friends, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and check out this video here.